Hi everyone, I'm back again with another easy recipe. Um, this is one of my new favorites. Oh my God, my mouth, my mouth is watering. It is so delicious and it's super easy to make. Um, if you remember from my uh, latest uh, prep video, I was talking about how I prep uh, my potatoes for the week and how I uh, separate them into seven smart points. So that's the first thing that I'm going to be making. Um, it is so easy to make. All you have to do is get uh, your potatoes and let me show you the, ba the bag that it came in. Now this is the bag that it comes in. It is called Melissa's Baby Dutch Yellow Potatoes. And they are so cute and adorable and I get them from my HEB and uh, it just depends on how many points it is oops it just depends how many points you're willing to spend uh, for my dinner I'm gonna go ahead and spend seven points and I went ahead and got these out and I think it was 369 grams comes out to seven points so you get all of these potatoes which to me is a lot you get all of these for seven smart points and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to prepare it so the first thing I do is I'm going to get my potatoes and I'm going to uh, put them in a strainer. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in here and I'm going to wash them. And then I'm going to pat them dry. Okay, so let me go ahead and wash them first. And I'm going to set out my aluminum foil on my cooking sheet. There we go. And so I've washed them and I'm just patting them dry with a paper towel and there we are because we don't want them soaking wet but we don't want them super dry either so there we are and first thing is you're going to get some uh, cooking spray now my favorite cooking spray to get is as, as an olive oil now if you've already used olive oil uh, in the morning or something then you can certainly use any other kind uh, I haven't used it at all today so I'm good to go because remember we want to avoid um, piling up and using the same uh, cooking spray so we don't have to add any points so I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly spray it there you go and then I'm gonna get some um, some rosemary and I'm going to get some thyme and I'm just going to sprinkle it oops and I forgot <laughs> I forgot one last one I'm also going to use some kosher salt so that's it I'm just going to sprinkle it to your taste uh, if you don't like a lot you don't have to use a lot I like to really get the spices on there and what happens is that the uh, olive oil kind of makes it stick a little so I'm just going to do that and just sprinkle it on there make sure that you're coating your potatoes with it there you go with the kosher salt I just grab it in my in my hand like this and I just sprinkle it and that's it y'all see how easy that was that's all you have to do and we're gonna put it in our oven I like my potatoes super roasted and toasted on the outside and super soft on the inside. So I'm going to put them at 425 degrees for 30 minutes and they're going to come out roasted and toasted and ooey gooey on the inside. They're going to be delicious. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those in the oven. And as that's cooking, then we can start we can get started on our steak and it's also going to take us 30 minutes so this is something that you can be doing at the same time and it's only going to take you 30 minutes so let's get started okay okay guys so the first thing we want to do is uh, measure our steak this is a steak that i buy in my walmart now it is the bottom round steak hopefully you can catch it hopefully the camera's catching it uh, bottom round steak and it is super thin slice if you can see there and so it's not going to take very long to cook so I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure out uh, seven smart points of this and I've already got it here up set up on my tracker uh, seven smart points comes out to the most I can get is 13 ounces so I'm gonna because I already have it here uh, Walmart's uh, bottom round steak and I've got all the values on it so I've got I've got it all set up on my um, tracker so all I've got to do is make sure I don't go over 13 ounces so I've already opened it up and I'm gonna go ahead and start weighing it okay so we got it at zero and it's usually about 
three or four that comes out to it. It just depends. Thirty-three, and there it is. Four of them. It's thirteen point one ounces, and that's exactly how much we need. And so then the rest, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, store these. You can either freeze them, put them back in your refrigerator, or um, what I do is I make the rest for my son and my husband. So, but that's just gonna be for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside. And so now that I've measured it out, I can put my scale away. Okay, and so then we get our pan ready and we wanna go make sure that it's set medium. And so we're gonna spray our pan. You wanna make sure that you are using a cooking spray that you haven't used that day. Uh, as you, if you remember from my other previous videos, I have a whole collection of cooking sprays. And today I have not used the butter one, so I'm gonna use that one because for my breakfast, for my breakfast, I use the coconut oil and the avocado oil, so I haven't used this one, so. There it is, sprayed on. And the two spices that I'm gonna be using is the, uh, I think it's Weber or Weber, uh, roasted garlic and herb. And I'm also going to be using this um, Grill Mates Montreal steak. And uh, they also sell them in small containers. I just bought this one at Sam's and that's why it's so big, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm also gonna be using for seasoning and flavoring uh, the Central Market Organics. I got this at my HEB. It's free range chicken broth, low sodium. And this one, I believe you get five cups for zero smart points. So I'm just gonna make sure. Let's see, oh, here. here is the code. And here it is. So one cup uses food. And see it's zero, and I think it goes all the way to five. Yeah, at five cups, then it goes to one point. So you can use four cups for zero smart points. So we're not gonna use more than four cups, but um, that's just for you so you can know that uh, you can use up to four cups for it still being zero. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and it's already warming up and then we're just gonna lay out our uh, steaks and you want to get them um, in a circle I do them in a circle this doesn't mean you have to cook it like this this is just how I do it and they are going to shrink so don't think that they're gonna be this massive they're not they're gonna definitely going to shrink and there we are gonna put them all there okay get it all like that and see how it's all covered like that? That's just how I do it. I don't know why or who, or, but it just happens that way. <laughs> and then I get my spices and I just put a coat on it. And I love that it. it just depends how much it is that you want. I like mine extra salty. So I just love that taste that comes out. So I put a lot of it. If you're watching your sodium intake, then by all means, uh, don't put so much. Just get a little bit. But I'm going to put that much. That's it sprinkle it and then I'm gonna put I'm not sure if you can see the, yeah you can see right there there's like a little opening I'm gonna put there my uh, chicken broth because I don't want the spices to run away or you can definitely lift it make some space down here so that the chicken broth will go underneath it and the spices won't uh, run away and all you wanna do is you just cover it until you see the chicken broth at the bottom. And see how the chicken broth is already rising and that's all. That's all we need and then we're gonna cover it. So that's it. And we're gonna cover it and let that cook for 15 minutes on medium. 
And then after uh, 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and flip them and season the back of it. Meanwhile, make sure that your potatoes are already on the oven and that way they're gonna be cooking uh, simultaneously. So this is already starting at uh, the clock and we're gonna put our potatoes for 30 minutes in the oven. So that way, 15 minute interval, we'll turn these around and uh, the potatoes are almost done as well. They're gonna be 15 more minutes left to go. So that way they're gonna be cooking at the same time. So I'll see you back here in 15 minutes. Bye. Now, as you're cooking it, you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on it. If for, for, uh, if for some reason you're running low on your liquid, just go ahead and put some more uh, chicken stock on it. But if it's fine and you have enough liquid, then you're okay. So just keep make sure that you keep an eye on it. Okay, you guys, so it's been 15 minutes and we're going to go ahead and turn our meat around or over and see how it's shrunk a lot. And we're just going to turn it around. Be very careful that you don't uh, scrape your pan. If you want, you can get a plastic utensil so you don't scrape it. Let's see. Oops. And it's got enough liquid, so we don't need to add any more, but we need to, I need to put more spices in it. And if that other, if you don't want to put that much spices, then maybe that's enough for you, and you don't need to put, put some spices on this side, but I love to put more spices on mine. So I'm gonna put it like that, and then that's it. I'm just gonna cover it and cook it again for another 15 minutes on medium. Like between almost at medium, not quite there, but almost at medium, and let it cook for another 15 minutes. Again, keep your eye on it. Make sure that your liquid doesn't completely dry out, and if it does, just go ahead and put in some more of that chicken broth. So I'll see you back in 15 minutes. It's done. Now on my regular oven, which I have a, um, I have an electric uh, electric burner. Um, the medium works just perfectly, the setting of medium, but this might be running a little bit hot. So I'm going to, uh, I have it a little bit less than medium, but on my oven, I'm, I mean on my stove, it is totally on medium. So it's almost ready. We've only got one more minute to go and it's like, and we've still got enough liquid. That's all we need to worry about is that if we have enough liquid and we do. And our potatoes are almost done. Can't wait. Okay, guys, you hear the alarm. It's already been uh, another 15 minutes, so a total of 30. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay, guys, so I'm ready to open this. Woo! It's amazing. Oh, my God, it looks delicious. And so I'm going to go ahead and move this down so I can go ahead and plate it. Okay guys, our potatoes are totally done and see how on the outside they are completely roasted and inside they're so ooey gooey. I love that. I love how they, they get like brown and roasted on the outside. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put this aside. I'm going to get my plate and I'm, oops, and I'm using my plastic fork so I don't hurt my pan and just set it aside. And so all those delicious spices are still there on the top. Now, if you don't like that much spice, if you don't want that much spice on your uh, meat, you can definitely just put half of it or put very little. Like I said, if you're watching your sodium intake, make sure that you uh, adjust the recipe accordingly. I love to um, just slather it on there. You know me. So um, now I'm going to put my potatoes there on my plate. And all those amazing spices from the rosemary and the um, thyme and the salt, a little bit of that kosher salt. There we are. 
And so you don't have to let it go to waste. You can also use them again. You can definitely put them back into there. And see, hopefully the camera can catch it, but when you split it open, ooh, it's kind of hot. See, they're so soft on the inside. I love that. They're perfectly done. So now you think, okay, we're done, right? Well, no, we're not because we still have this amazing juice that we have the chicken stock and all these amazing spices still in our pot. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of the potatoes and my steak. And that's going to give them so much flavor. And there you go, guys. There is our steak and potatoes. And this is 14 smart points. And it only took us 30 minutes to make. And uh, like I said, it's so delicious. It is packed with protein. Like, oh my God, this is pr uh, protein overload. Oh. oh my God, I want to eat it so bad. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is going to be a quick wrap up. This is uh, our amazing dinner. Now, if you say to yourself, uh, yeah, right, Julie, these little teeny tiny... Um, beyond super thin uh, slices of steak is not going to be enough to fill me. I cannot believe that you think that this is going to be enough for me and my stomach. Then you can definitely add a kale salad. And remember my video, I showed you how my one smart point kale, kale salad, you can add that to this. Or you can steam some more uh, vegetables, broccoli or some cauliflower or eat it raw cauliflower or raw um, broccoli and just add it with some uh, ranch sauce from the bowl house bolt house farms so you could definitely do that and add a little bit more in case this is not enough for you um i just cannot wait to dig into this and that's it y'all this is my steak and potatoes dinner in 30 minutes and of course it's 14 smart points all right guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this thank you so much for joining me for dinner tonight have a great one Bye.